Hello, chess friends. Welcome back to another chess class. This this lesson will be on checkmate part two. Learn a little bit more precise. We'll learn another type of checkmate. Um, but first, I want to show you something. Um, every day, Monday through Friday, there are two tournaments that you can play. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Two different tournaments. One at 11.30 a.m. It's called the Rapid Open. And today's Friday, so it's the Daily ICN Rapid Open. It starts in 43 minutes, okay? This will be every day. So it's not just Friday, but it's every day. Um, how do you sign on? I will show you. You sign into your Chess Kid account and do this 15, 15 minutes before the tournament starts. They'll open it to uh to 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 register. How do you register? So 15 minutes before the tournament will be open to register. How do you register? Sign in to your Chess Kid. Click on play versus kid. This will happen. This will pop up. It'll say 5, 10, 50. Ignore this and click if you want to play the rapid tournament. This is a different uh, DT. It'll click on here, right? For instance, this is a uh, example they're using Tuesday. You click daily ICN for whatever day it is. And then this will come up. The chat will open and it'll say next round's starting soon. What do you do? When the first round comes, you just wait. Just wait and the board will pop up once it's your turn to play. You'll play your game so in, in, the, um, in the rapid at 11.30 a.m. There's five games. And there's 10 minutes with a five second delay. So, your game will pop up, and then you'll play, and that's it. And you'll play all five rounds at 11.30, and there's three, three rounds at four. So just be patient, because sometimes your round will end quickly. You just wait for the other ones to start. It's a great resource to play every day at 11.30 and four. And here's the fun thing. The coaches are commenting on these games live you can go to the ICN channel on on uh, YouTube and you can um, watch watch them live and watch coach Jonathan and Angel talk about the matches it's so fun I just do it just for entertainment honestly it's like I love chess as a spectator sport, and to have Coach Jonathan and Angel uh, doing live commentary, it's its so fun. It's like watching, you know, greatest um, uh, sports commentators, you know, throughout. It's just great. I love the banter. That's the back and forth. So, all right, guys, so that's every day. I'd like to see a lot of these schools that aren't getting up there in the tournament. So. Um, here we go. Let's begin the lesson. It's on checkmate. So definitely help you play a tournament. The last um, video we looked at supported mate. Now we'll look at a different type of checkmate. Oh, then the cooperation between two pieces. Cause it, and, and later you'll see, you saw before that sometimes one piece can checkmate if the king is has harmful material and it's a back rank mate. Okay, let's look. Um, now, this is a supporting mate. Uh, it's the same one we before. The pieces, black pieces, cannot help. 
If you think this is not safe move, well, look all the way down the diagonal. The bishop's helping. It's a key player. The bishop has an important job here, supporting the queen. Okay, that was from last time, just a little refresher. Now let's look, before we go on, let's look for escape squares. Here the rook has a very important job. We call the job of the rook a guard. Guard is a piece that takes away squares. The escape squares for the king here are only on d8 and f8. The rook guards the full rank in front of the king. The rook is actually better here, guarding, than if it were on b8 checking. Because if you think a good move is to play rook to b8 check, that's kind of a silly move. Because you're letting the king out. And now the king has all this space to run. So a guard is an important, important job in chess. You're setting up checkmates. Um, the queen can also be a guard. The queen is a very good guard in chess. Sometimes it takes that role, that job, and another piece is doing the chasing and the checking. Here, the queen guards the entire second rank, trapping the king, putting it in jail. Now the king only has two escape squares. Again, it would be a silly move for the queen to move down to, D to D1 and check the king, because then the king could run out and have all this space to run. The queen is better here as a guard. Stay here. Couldn't give the last check on the last rank. Stay here and guard the king for now. See what happens. Um, so, now let's distinguish here which piece, which, which rook is guarding. Is it the rook on a6 or the rook on b7? Which rook is taking squares away from the king on h8? Well, if you said the rook on b7 is guarding, you are correct. This rook has on, on, on b7 has an important job. It should stay here. It would be a bit silly for the rook to move here because you're letting the king back into the center of the game. Now, you can make moves and force him back to the side of the river. But let's look for a better move now. This rook has the important job. Let's let this rook stay here and do its good job by guarding. Making sure the king does not run away. How about the rook on a6? Does this rook have a job right now? Is it doing anything? No. We could put it to work. Move the rook to a8 check. And thankfully, the two pieces are working together. This rook keeps a watchful eye. And this rook does the checking and chasing. Now, this is checkmate. This is not a supported mate like before. This is called an assisted mate. The, rook on, the two rooks are doing one rook independently guards. The other does the chasing. We call that an assisted mate. Okay. Okay, so here, I'll give you a couple seconds to look at this. Which rook is doing the guarding? Very important job. Which one? And there's only one. Which rook is taking squares away from the king and trapping it, this time on the side of the board? Trap a king on any side of the board. It doesn't matter. On the top, on the bottom, on the left, on the right. Which rook is keeping this king a prisoner? Those the rook on g7. You are correct. The rook on g7 has a very important job here. You must keep the king trapped. And it would be silly to play rook to h7 check because the king could then get out. To run out. You don't want the king to escape the prison. This rook here. How about the rook on f6? Does it have a job right now? If not, maybe we could put it to work. So, 
rook to work and put it to h6, check. This is checkmate, of course. If you thought you could then run to h2, you are incorrect. Remember, the rook is a line control move. When the rook goes to h6, it guards h2 like an x-ray. h6, the rook is looking to h2 the king cannot run there it would still be in check on the rook okay what's happening here now we might be used used to looking for to chase the king with the queen the queen is really good at giving check but remember the queen is also a very good guard If you thought a check might be a good move, well, okay, but you're letting the king run away. In this case, the queen is guarding the king so well that the queen should stay where it is. Bishop, on the other hand, doesn't have a job at all right now. It's got nothing going on. It's not attacking the king. Let's put it to work. See a good move to put this bishop to work. I hope you saw the check on c6. Bishop can go to c6. And the queen is doing the guarding this time. No problem with that. And the bishop is doing the chasing. Without the bishop, it'd be check, it wouldn't be checkmate. And without the queen, they both have jobs to do that are very important. This again, with a guard and a chaser, is an assisted move. If the queen were, uh, okay, so. Ah, oh, what's happening here? Hmm. What are these pieces up to? Well, the king's in the corner. Probably doesn't like that. Does the king have any escape squares? Like it has one. King can run to g2. Now, if it's black to move. And, and also, the king cannot go to g1. His bishop was put here to guard that square. Nope. Can't get out here. King can move to g2. Hmm. Is the queen working at all right now? Does the queen have a job? Let's put it to work. If you saw the move queen to d1 check, well, I. I I, I recognize that you're getting good at seeing the diagonals and checking the king, but you let the king run away. Oh, no. You want to trap the king. Trap it in the corner. Make sure it cannot run to g2, this safe square. Now, if you say, well, you have three check. This is very smart. Very good job. You're checking the king. Denying the king the escape square. Nope. And this is checkmate. Again, this is an assisted mate. This time, the bishop is guarding. The queen is doing the chasing. Okay, what do we have here? Well, it looks like the queen and the bishop are working very well together. Be careful before you just go down throwing checks around. This looks like a run up the mill, no problem. Supported me, queen to b8, but must be where there are defenders about. There's a knight on d7 saying, no, if you play your queen to, d to b8, thinking you're going to get a supported mate, no siree, the knight is guarding that square. Ah, so it's not enough just to attack a square. You must make sure there's not defenders about. Let's look here. Does the king have any escape squares? Well, both in this position, both the queen guarding and the bishop. So I can see here it might be kind of confusing. Which piece should you use? They already both have jobs. So we have to look further. Well, if we look carefully, the bishop can still keep its job as guard. And let's come in with the queen as a chaser, this time to a6. The knight can't help defend this time. The queen will be checking the king on a8 and still guarding the square b3. 